Hey everybody, I just want to start off real quick. We ran a little bit long last time, but uh, it's kind of an introduction, so that's okay. First Peter chapter 1 verse 7 says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold. Precious faith is what the Bible says you have. You have got a precious faith in this word is God sees your faith as precious faith. Your faith and your belief system, I'll say it again, is the most important thing that you possess on this earth. Nothing else can compare to it. Your belief system is that valuable to you. But like we said yesterday, it has to be your belief system. It can't be what your pastor teaches, what, your, what the guest minister said, what I tell you, I got a favorite TV preacher. They say this. No, no, no. They're, that, that's good. They're going to have their faith tested as well, but your test and your trial is what you're living in. And we said yesterday that it's not necessarily God bringing the test. It's not necessarily the devil. It's because you're just here. And if you believe something, it's going to be tested and it's going to be tried, and it will result. God's desire at the end of the trial, it says right here, is receiving the end of your faith. And if we were to say here, we, since with our last series, we talked about the enemy and his tools, his tricks, and his objective is to steal, kill, and destroy. So obviously, if your faith's on trial, God wants your faith to come out shining and bright on the other side. Believing, not shaking. You know what you believe. You stand there, and you are not made ashamed about what you believe, but that belief came out bright on the other side. The enemy's goal, when he comes in to try to move you and shake you, and the trial comes, his goal is when the trial does come, that you come out on the other side, no faith, confused, stripped of all the things you believe. I don't know what to believe now. My goodness, it didn't work, didn't do, this didn't work, that didn't work. They didn't get it. They, I, I mean, they, this stayed sick, that stayed, they died, Some. I just, oh man, I'm so, the enemy's goal in the trial of what you believe is to keep you totally confused. <laughs> Totally confused. That's his number one objective, deception, deceiver. He wants you deceived. But what we're talking about is being rooted and grounded in what you believe. What you believe is the most important thing in your life. It's the most, and, and you know, like I said before, you just, most people really don't know why they believe what they believe. And that is pretty dangerous territory to be in because then when anything comes along, they are prone to just, well, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Maybe this is true. Maybe I need to change. Maybe that's not. Maybe that didn't work for me yet. Maybe I need to change it. No, no. The, your faith's on trial. The trial, how long does it last? I don't know. I do know that the end result is receiving the end of your faith. So if you hadn't seen what God showed you yet, you may as well get real, real happy. Because if you stay in faith, it's going to be a receiving at the end of it is what we're promised in this scripture right here. The enemy's goal, though, is to, during the middle of that trial, take you, suck the faith out of you, suck the life out of you, suck the seed of the word of God out of you, and get you out of what you're believing. Now, can he just do that, or is it something that's going to be kind of hard for him to do? Well, it totally depends on you, individually. Are you rooted, and are you grounded in what you believe? If we are, we can rest assured that there is going to be results at the end of what we're believing. Now, if we're not rooted, and we're not grounded, and say our root system is not developed, my belief system is not deep, and I mean, my your, your belief system ought to be from here to halfway to China. I mean, it ought to be so deep that I believe this, man. I believe it, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it. That way, when something comes and something comes up and, you know, something, something you know, like I said yesterday, I think I said it, that you, you know, these days you have all this YouTube, you got Facebook, you got all these different forms of media out there where some, everybody's trying to get a message across. Everybody's trying to get one across. Everybody's trying to preach a message to us. But we have to have our beliefs formed and founded, and it has to be able to be solidified by the Word of God. Word of God as a believer. Now, you might be out there watching this, and you might say, well, I don't believe that Bible. I mean, well, you know, you're not even rooted anyway. So what we're talking, I mean, you, you're going to be deceived by everything that comes along. But a believer, a believer in the Word of God, and a Christian believer, born again, child of God, our belief system is formed by God's word, by God's word, 
and only by God's word. That's where we get our belief system from. You don't get your belief system from church. Church should reinforce your belief system. You don't get your belief system from the TV evangelist. They should, if they're a good ministry, <laughs> you got to be careful. They should reinforce what you believe. If you're going to watch it, you call yourself feeding your faith, then you should have your faith reinforced. Man, every time you step foot in a building that's preaching the word of God and you know it's a solid word, it should reinforce and strengthen that belief system. Man, I'm coming in here to get strong. I'm coming in here to solidify what I believe. And nothing more important, I've told our people here, nothing more important really than church members, congregational members, to sit in the seats and just get rooted, not in the seat, but in the word. Nothing more important. We tell, I mean, I've told our folks here, you know, your belief system, you ought not just take everything I say, go out there, believe it, and all, or Roger said, Pastor Roger said this, they said that. Now, what did the word say? What did the word say? Too many people out there saying what somebody said, some man said, you got to be able to take me in the word of God, show me why you believe what you believe, and break it down, and look to God's word. It is what's going to be tested. It's where the trial is going to come from. And the enemy hopes that your root system is not strong enough so that when something might blow in, and it's funny that it's worded like that, the wind blows over trees. Well, the, James also said that you need to be solid in what you believe because when every wind of doctrine, wind of doctrine blows in, you'll be standing strong and it won't come and you won't be like a double-minded man saying I believe this today that today this this month that 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 next month and I mean we're not confused we're solid in what we believe it is God's word hopefully God's word is what's changed your life a lot of people say you know church changed my life well it really didn't it really didn't uh, somebody some man changed my life no no if that man's Jesus that's good but it wasn't a man it was the word of God if you really been changed and if you really got deep roots in what you believe and in your faith, then it's God's word. You didn't get religion. You didn't get some, you know, membership into some church or club. You got Jesus, and he was the word made flesh, and your relationship with him should be deep relationship. It ought to be more than you got with your wife, more than you got with your kids. It is your foundation, foundation, and you won't be shaken, you know. You won't be shaken when the winds blow, but you will stand firm, stand strong, and when something comes and it's, ah, that don't line up. That don't line up. It might keep coming, but you know what? Uh, not, not moving. <laughs> not moving. Word says this. Word says you got to show me something otherwise, otherwise, but I'm believing right here. This is what I believe. And like I told our, told our folks in this church, this is the most important thing that we can do as a believer is get rooted, get grounded, Take our position in the word of God and put that word on the inside to the point where no wind of doctrine it might come along and no thing out there in the world and no, nothing else can come and shake us off what we believe. It is that important and we're going to see some examples of how that is important and why it's so important and why so many people when the wind does come and the, this comes through that comes they might just oh I'm, they just what they didn't have the roots that's all i mean like i said yesterday you can see a tree and tell, you can't tell nothing about its root, root system by just looking at the tree you'll only know that when something does blow through and they oh uh, yeah i believe it, i believe it now i changed my belief now you got to get rooted grounded and then firm in what you believe and uh, want to encourage you. Don't let things come in and push you around and get you off of what you believe. Most important, and I mean anybody, anything, anytime, not going to move, not going, no, nah, no, 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 firm, shake it. And you're going to try my faith? Try it, try it. You're going to try my faith, devil? Try it. I, I know what I believe. I know what I believe, and I know what has worked for me for so long, and I know it works, and I'm not going to budge. Not going to budge. See, an enemy, he'll flee from somebody like that because yeah, I've tried, tried, blue, blue. I've tried to deceive here, deceive there, and they didn't take, didn't take, didn't take. i got to go see somebody I can push over and not rooted and grounded like that person is, like you are, like you ought to be. Amen? Going to come back tomorrow to talk about some more things. Plenty of scripture on this subject, and uh, we're going to look at some more tomorrow. Be blessed. Bye-bye.